And when it comes to the player side, can you walk us through the different classes that are playable right now? Sure, definitely. So right now in, in the build, we have three different types of classes. We have our commando, and he is the natural, like, you know, gunfighter version, like somebody you'd expect running around with an assault rifle. He's the guy that's good at sniping. Like, he's basically your master of anything ranged. And so he generally has things like grenades. He has proximity mines. These are things where, like, he, he can do his job well. So he's just, he's at home, up on the battlements, uh, shooting down at, 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 at the monsters, or he could be up in a sniper tower um, shooting long range at a player. And that's sort of his primary role, being a range class. And that's sort of the most familiar. And then we've got our... Um, our ninja, which has all the things that you'd expect in a ninja, he has he has he has shurikens, he has um, uh, throwing stars, and he has uh, a katana. And so he's our sort of melee our melee uh, hero, and he's at home and fighting uh, hand to hand with the, with the uh, husk and other enemies. And generally, um, he also has good traversal because he has double jump, so he can move quite quickly through the enemies and get himself out of there. So he'll come in, do a couple of slashes, maybe execute his dragon slash, which is, which is one of his power moves, and he'll kill lots of people, but then he'll he'll jump back up onto the wall away from the creatures and, and into safety. So he's sort of our high, highly mobile melee class. And then we have our third class, which is our constructor. and. Uh, Constructor sort of takes, like, everybody in the world of Fortnite can build, everybody can fight, but he starts sort of building to that next level where he he has a, a base emplacement where, where he drops down a, a device that enhances all the walls around him, generally makes his, his comrades better, it makes uh, the strength of his walls, he can create um, walls that regenerate as long as they're within his, his radius, and so basically it, it automates and makes building that much more awesome. Um, and, and and automated because this guy is designed to maintain your entire fort while the rest of the team is running around taking care of their other roles. And so that's sort of one of our uniquely sort of Fortnite that really enmeshes all all those all our pieces together and sort of takes that to the next level. And speaking of, of, of working together, can you talk about the teamwork strategies that you've seen that work the best when you have those four players working together? Yeah, the, uh, you know, it's sort of a natural um, amalgam of what we were just talking about which is you know you want the constructor to be mining the base you want him to he can run around the battlements he can kill he can kill creatures just as good as anybody else but he's got to keep an eye on like wall health and make sure that like the things are being repaired maybe he has to do upgrades if a wall comes down he's got to be the guy who's johnny on the spot and replacing them and so that's his technique when you when and then all of a sudden he's like oh my roofs are coming down there's artillery on me what are we going to do that's a point where he's able to sort of call out to the ninja player and say like hey like ninja you're gonna have to go out over the wall and find the artillery that's tearing apart our wall and then the ninja just gets to go out he drops a smoke bomb maybe stuns a bunch of people and then goes out and finds those artillery guys and, and kills them before they can tear down the uh, uh, tear down the uh, the base and then at that same time you've got the commando who's generally making sure that the the, the, the weaker hosts don't don't gang pile all over your walls and overwhelm the whole the whole fortress. So each guy has a role of like you know one's got sort of close in support. The melee care the ninja is is sort of long range and he has to be always mobile. And then the commando is the guy who's your your grunt troops who's just keeping the the waves down to it to a minimum that that the walls can sustain. So that's sort of like the the, the nice little synergy we've seen in house about that. I mean there's some truly crazy builds that start happening when you when you when you go one strategy to the other, but that's sort of an innate, their innately, uh, innate strategy that working together, how, how that works together. And it feels pretty natural to players. It's like, yeah, I'm a melee class. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to fight in melee. I'm a range class. I fight in range. And I'm, I'm a builder, and I, I know I'm supposed to maintain the, the, the hearth fire. Now, I know it's still early, and you guys are still working out the, the PvP, but talk a little about what that adds, the additional five-on-five five gameplay to the monsters we've already discussed. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing, like, uh, super early for our PvP mode, but we're, you know, we're prototyping basically what it feels like to have those mechanics be, you know, building, scavenging, defending, um, all mashed together into a, into a frenetic PvP game. And so one of the things that we wanted to do when we were sort of developing what our final version of PvP is going to be is we wanted to find one that felt like it was uniquely Fortnite. And since the storms are part of the, the low-level DNA of what Fortnite is and, and, and how those work, we wanted those storms to be part of the gameplay. So 
um, storms will roll into a PvP arena, spawning lots of creatures and, and, and throw the best strategy into complete disarray or turn a win into a loss or vice versa, depending on how you're using it. Sometimes, like a smasher attacks the opposing team's base and blows open a hole that lets your ninja sneak in and, and, and tear up their, their base. And that's, a, that's sort of a cool gameplay, um, you know, exchange that, that can only really be done when, when there's a, you know, a, a threat that, that exists for both sides of the field because it can really change the dynamics of a game of, from you know moment to moment that way so we definitely know that's cool you know we know that the building and shooting and, and combat that we have when mixed into get into a pvp game is also fun so we've got the sort of we know that the low level stuff is all working now we just got to figure out you know what our unique mode is for fortnite